his stuff is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Can you not read? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Baby, it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last to get replaced by the sickening blue-green <laughs> of the future. I bathe. Calm. I thought that I... Is that calm's breathing? Is that an S? Calm. Is that a comma? That's a semicolon. Oh. Duh. I thought it was a fancy S. No. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Wait, why would it be a semicolon? A comma would make more sense. A semicolon is only used when... Regardless. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I, thank you. It was hard for me to read. I have, sir, I have such terrible handwriting. No, he has handwriting me. What? <laughs> I wasn't thinking that after all. After but, all? But after it all? took you a long after time all? to read. It did take me a long time to read. Reading is fundamental. <laughs> ah. Well, I just don't need to... I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Josh. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of a poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Nope. I guess nope. I'll have to keep trying! Nope. I'm counting on you. Doki Doki! My Doki Doki is a love club literature. Who we go next? I don't know. Whatever happens, you have to read more! You're gonna, you're gonna do it, so you have to do both the voices. Oh again. God damn it! <laughs> that was random. Oh, that was random. It's like, no. hi, Josh. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'll be right back. Can you pour me a little bit of coffee? Oh, you want coffee too? Okay. I want a little bit of coffee too. coffee too. Read your stuff. I don't hear you reading. Hi, Josh. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's, ki it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Josh. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Yes. He made the books where the sidewalk ends. And? And, um. The Giving Tree? He did The Giving Tree? Yeah. Did he also do James and the Giant Peach? No. Oh. For someone else. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, 
<laughs> Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Wait, did you move the camera? Yeah, because of all the trash. <laughs> You're trash. Sorry, we, it's trash day, and we haven't taken it out yet. I'm lazy and it's cold. It's like 40 or 37 degrees out. Alexa. How cold is it? Right now in Seattle, it's 38 degrees with clear skies. Tonight's forecast has mostly clear skies with a low of 36 degrees. All right. How did you do it, Wade? It's be funny and daring and even fun. Oh, it's a mouthful. That's gross. Oh, that's good. Did you use the song? And sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they could express views of the world that can apply to anybody. I, I see. see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm so enterprising. <laughs> Trying different things a lot. I'm just more comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the new kind, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well... Let's read it then. Hole in the wall, or hole in wall. I can't read either. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the baffle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. I told you my wheels broke. Oh yeah, I forgot. Into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform. If that's what you call it. My sandwich was good. <laughs> That's not the line. I have stuff in my beard. Hold on. Are you saving it for winter? Because it is winter. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. You gotta laugh better. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Now you have to go back to the, you're not eating anymore. Get my coffee. I was having sips. You had sips. You asked for a sip. Ah. Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you can say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Uh. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna try to do their hand motions and shit too. I should move my camera over their face. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. No, don't do it, Josh. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. No, you can't put your hand in the camera. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Progress? 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 Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about 
is this. Is this. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. The more you know. Brendo. Dot, dot, dot. This is a good poem, Josh. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare am time. Am I the kind oh, of guy? Oh, I thought he said, I thought he's trying to do some, no, like, oh. he says, am I? Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Hello, man. I do, ma. Hello, man. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Josh. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? This will be my way of thanking you. All right. I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I will do all the laughs from now on. Okay. I'm doing all the laughs. We'll see about that. <laughs> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy... Are you interpretive dancing over there? Rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. What are you doing? Hungry, rubbing belly, I'm Are hungry. you paying attention to these songs? Yes, I'm at, yes. Click outside the thing. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Yes, you can. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. Uh, I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or uh, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's sad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> Squeakily live. This was fun. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best song ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. How do I do my voice again? Dot, dot, dot. <gasps> Rude! Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like.